Hey y'all, it's Brittany. Welcome back. Come on in, take a seat. So today we are going to be talking about another luxury fragrance. Yes. And I'm going to be testing out a dupe for it as well. So today's fragrance is actually going to be the Santal 33 fragrance. If you have researched any fragrances, top fragrances online from influencers, or if you're just interested in fragrances, I'm pretty sure you've heard of this fragrance before. It's a unisex fragrance, so it works great for both men and women. But I'm going to dive in and talk about this fragrance and then also be testing out the dossier version of the Santal 33 fragrance. So if you want to see how the dupe stands up to the original, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so today's video is all about Centel 33 and the dossier version, which is a Woody. This is their Woody Sandalwood fragrance. So I'm going to be comparing the two fragrances today. I will test them out. We'll talk about some notes. We will talk about what it smells like. We will, all that good stuff. Everything you want to know about a fragrance and its dupe, we will talk about it y'all. So let's hop right into it. Now, for those of you who do not know what the Santel 33 fragrance is, this fragrance is well loved by many. A lot of the younger generations uh, really s smell like this fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance. The description of it, it says that it is a unisex fragrance that captures the defining image of spirit of the American West and personal freedom. Now y'all, I don't know about all of the American West definition, all that stuff. I just know it smells nice. I like the way it smells. It is a great everyday fragrance, actually. It is very expensive. So 1.7 ounces is $83. And, you know, obviously it just goes up from there. Now, talking about notes and families, this is a woody, kind of woody scent. The top notes are violet accord and cardamom. Middle notes are iris and ambrox. The base notes are cedarwood, leather, and sandalwood. So this is a little bit different for me. I am, you know, more drawn to musk and spicy kind of scents. I do love me a woody scent though. So usually though, I'm, I'm loving a woody scent that also has a musk with it. But this is gonna be much more woody without <laughs> the musk. So this will be nice for me to try out. I think it is a balancing scent. There's some violet and iris, so some lighter scents as well to kind of help balance out the wood. So I'm very excited to try this. I have not tried it on my skin yet. I've been waiting until I did this video to develop any personal feelings or opinions on this. So I'm giving it to y'all real time. Now let's talk about Dossier's version of this, which is the Woody Sandalwood. And for those of you who don't know what Dossier is, they are a company that does fragrance inspired scents. So they don't necessarily claim to be exact dupes, which I do appreciate. They actually take a scent and they create their own version of it, which a lot of the times I've found personally that it doesn't exactly match the scent, but I'm not necessarily looking for something that matches exactly. I like something that gives me the sim like a similar feel from it or a similar scent, but doesn't have to exactly match. But we all love a good dupe. So for those of us who are looking for more affordable varieties and options of these more expensive scents, I wanted to try these out and see how much of a dupe they actually were. And thank you to Dossier for sending me this this to try out and compare and give my honest review on. This is not a sponsored review in the way that I'm being paid to give y'all a opinion. I don't do that. I'm gonna give it to you real raw. If you ask to work with me, you're gonna get a real answer when I test out your product. So with that being said, let's hop into the information on the Woody Sandalwood. 
The top notes of the woody sandalwood are violet leaves and cardamom. So we're talking same top notes if we compare those two. Middle notes, we're talking orris, ambrox, cedarwood, and cypriol. The only exact same thing that I see in the middle notes are the ambrox. In the base notes, there is musk, sandalwood, and amber versus the sandalwood, cedarwood, and leather that's in the base notes of the actual Santel 33. So that's what I mean when I say it's like their take on it, their spin on it. It's not exactly the same. They're not trying to make an exact same product. Uh, just something that gives you that similar experience. I think just by reading the notes that I'm probably gonna like the dossier more just because like I said, I love me a musk and this has a musk in it. So I'm excited to compare the two. Now let's get to comparing. I am going to spray Santal on this hand and then I'm gonna spray Woody Sandalwood on this hand. Hello. Woo. I'm gonna have to air this room out. I have to spray those two back to back. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I'm going to smell them both for the first time. So we'll start with the Centel Original. It smells really good. It doesn't give me the woody that I would expect. I would expect the woody to be a lot more forward, especially when we're talking about, oh, the American West and giving you that real American feeling and all the woody notes that are in it. And it says it falls within the woody category of scent families. And I'm definitely getting more of the violet, the more floral on top. That's what I'm getting more so than the woody. I think it's a nice balance, which is what probably makes it most wearable for both sexes. It's not feminine and it's not masculine. So it's right there in the middle. But I like this, I do. I like, I like this scent. I probably wouldn't wear it in like warmer months just because it reminds me kind of a fall. Not, it's not heavy enough to remind me of winter, but this gives me fall. And it may be because of those woody notes underneath. Um, but I like it. I, I wouldn't wear it every day. I, I know there are some people that obsess over this scent and I wouldn't wear it every day, but I feel like certain events, certain occasions, outdoor thingy things, I would wear it too. I feel like it's suiting for those types of things, but I like it. It's not too rich. It's not overpowering. I think there's some, some sillage of the scent following you or wafting behind you as you walk past. I can definitely see that. I've smelled this with people walking past me before, now putting a name to what I've been smelling when I'm out, but I like it. I I think it's a like a great balance that creates that unisex scent. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Dossier version, the Woody Sandalwood. Let's see how that compares. Is it a dupe? Is it different? Is it similar? Let's see. Okay, <laughs> these smell completely different. Not gonna lie to y'all. There is something in this one that I am just not a fan of. I like the top notes, I do. And I can definitely smell the musk with those. So I like those, but there is something in there that I just cannot get with y'all. It is a stronger fragrance. As y'all can see, I'm like <laughs> stopping up my nose as I speak after I smell it. It's not my favorite. There is a stronger, like the, the fragrance is stronger than the actual original version to me. Um, there's just something in there y'all that it's just not, whew. This is not something that I would wear. I, I told y'all, I'll give y'all my honest truth. I, I can't even put my finger on it. I can't explain what it smells like. 
I'm trying to give it a second to settle and see if it maybe changes a little bit, but it's not changing. That's that's what it is. And I can't walk around smelling like that. Like that, that's just not for me. This is fresh. It smells lighter. It smells clean. Like everything goes well together. All the scents, all the notes blend well together. With this dossier version, unfortunately, I, I can smell things, but I smell them separately. It doesn't smell like a cohesive scent, if that makes sense. And there's something in there that's really just standing out above all the rest of the scents that are pleasant. And it's really giving me this bad scent. It's almost I, like, it almost smells like hot pee. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. There's a note in there that just does not smell good. So unfortunately, this one is gonna have to be a no for me. I'm sorry, Dossier, this has to be a no for me. I loved their version of the Baccarat Rouge 540. That one was like a clean everyday version of the Baccarat. This, they do not smell the same. They don't. And like I said, this company is not trying to make exact dupes. If it ends up being a good dupe, great. They're doing kind of their take or inspired by fragrances, which is cool, which I respect. I'm not, I was never expecting it to smell exactly like the Sun Tile 33. I just overall, in general, don't like this fragrance. I don't know what it is. Something is just not blending well together. There's something extra. And I feel like if that extra, whatever it is that's overpowering everything else in the fragrance, if it wasn't there, I feel like it would smell much more like the Centel 33. But it's just, it's there. So, this one is gonna have to be a no for me. That does not put me off of the brand though. Let me say that because I've had a great experience with some other fragrances from them. So definitely does not put me off on Dossier. I feel like they have great price points. Usually most of the bottles are $29 and these are 1.7 ounce bottles as well. And they're $29. And then for the more expensive fragrances like the Baccarat, the Santal, um, Lost Cherry, Tom Ford, like those versions of their fragrances are $39, which is still a great deal for some high quality fragrances. This fragrance, although I don't like it, it's overpowering this fragrance in my room right now. And this fragrance is following me. The sillage is real. It's following me. So I know that these are high quality fragrances. They are very high quality. So with that being said, if you guys want to try it out, they have all of your favorite fragrances and at an affordable price, their versions of your favorite fragrances. And a lot of you guys have already tried them out and had some really great experiences with them. So thank you for sharing those experiences. But if you're interested in trying out other fragrances, um, like I said, they have a bunch of the Tom Ford, all of the name brand big fragrances that you can think of, they have an inspired by version of that fragrance. So make sure you try it out. I do have a link and coupon in the description box down below if you wanted to try them out. Feel free, use my link, thank you. But other than that, y'all, I am excited to try. I think I have one more that I wanna try. Um, from them and I want to share it with you guys as well. This is something that I have not been able to test on my skin as well and that is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc and I will be putting that video up soon, testing that out. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Otherwise y'all, check out my other videos, my playlist for fragrances. You know I'm covering all the luxury fragrances y'all and a few dupes mixed in there too if you're looking for natural hair care i have protective styles natural hair all that good stuff and of course sis i do true crime and makeup so if you're interested in hearing a true crime story and getting a quick look then check that out as well 
Other than that, guys, y'all, I will be back with more luxury fragrances. I will be back with more dupes. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you like this video. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post new content. Otherwise, it's been real, y'all. It's been fun. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.